Kids green. See the ankle break bracelet? And that's the score up there, too. That's Martinez. No, that's Robertson. Red Robertson. Robertson is red. Well, good evening and welcome to the WIAA online video webcast of Met Classic 24. Paul Beatty here along with Greg Hargrave and we're bringing you action right, all, right away. We're already into it. It's weight class 106. Sophomore Glenn Robertson of Fife wrestling Gabe Martinez, a junior from Quincy. And just underway again, three rounds of two minutes. And so far, not much happening out there as you'll expect that in a title bout many times. Greg, right now, the wrestlers are just really trying to get uh, a handle on where they are. Whatever butterflies they have, Paul, they got to get it out of their system this first minute. And then once they start getting on the mat and start rolling around, they're in their comfort zone. It is. Uh, it's much different, too, because it is so wide open here in the Tacoma Dome. And uh, right now we've got Robertson, actually uh, Martinez, taking a shot on Robertson and missing there. Yeah, um, Martinez is the one with a little bit of uh, Tacoma Dome experience. He took fifth place last year, and this is uh, Robertson's first year at the big tournament. So, Robertson was the region champ, and so was Martinez coming into this. And uh, right now, uh, we'll take a look at their bracket here in, in a moment, but uh, both, again, just really feeling each other out early part of this match. Well, we just got our first uh, stall warning. Uh, you, you were mentioning that Martinez was uh, doing all the aggression there, so Robertson just got, got himself a stall warning. Hopefully that doesn't cost him in the long run. I don't very seldom see uh, the small guys get uh, stall warnings. It's usually the heavier weight classes because these guys are usually quick, quick, and they go, go. So down to 16 seconds to go here. No score in the match so far. And it uh, looks like we'll end round one as they're tied up. Really not much happening here. And that will, we're down to five seconds here. And that will take care of round one. Round one in the books here. No score between Gabe Martinez of Quincy and Glenn Robertson of Fife. And now uh, here the coin flip. And uh, we'll see if the bottom here, which is going to be Martinez, can get the first uh, points on the board. Yeah, Martinez uh, won the toss. And a lot of times coaches defer, so they get their choice the third round. But if this goes into one of those overtimes or double overtimes, whoever scores first is going to get their, is going to get their choice. So it is important to score first on these close matches. So he chews down. More ways to, more ways to score that way. It's kind of like the coin flip of a football game, whether you want to go on offense or defense to start with. Exactly. Their strategy is the whole entire match, and it's no difference even for the second round here. So Martinez uh, qualified, uh, winning in the uh, regional, or I should say in the semifinal against Kale Wojvodic of Foster, who we saw wrestle in the Region 2 regional tournament, was a champion there, and he wins 2 to nothing in overtime to get to the championship. Uh, it's, I was just watching the match here. It looks like he's close to grabbing onto the toes, and that's illegal, but he let go. Uh, He's still driving. He's trying to roll him over and get some cheap tilt points here. He's got that leg right in there going with a, a power half. But Martinez is doing a great job holding that off. So right now Robertson trying to gain something on the upper end. And now we're in a stalemate. And they'll go back with Martinez in the down position and Robertson in the upper position. Still scoreless. 52 seconds to go here in the second round. Yep. What? Uh, it's amazing of how many uh, of these good wrestlers do use the leg now, but they got to watch those leg rides because what they're supposed to do, the referees, is they'll give them a stalemate, a stalemate, and then the stallings start coming in. And Robertson already has a stall warning on him, so he doesn't want to give up those easy free points. So let's. So and as Robertson, he qualified with an 11 to 10 win over uh, Martinez's uh, teammate Alejandrez. Otherwise, we would have had an all-Quincy final here. Yep, I was thinking there was a good shot of that happening, but Robertson's a tough wrestler. He deserves to be here. And now down to 15 seconds. Trying to get the leg, trying to get the leg back in there. But Martinez doing a good job countering that. 
Got only about five seconds. It looks like it's going to be 0-0 going into the third, Paul. Trying to get an escape at the last second is Martinez and the end of the mat or end of the round. And we remain scoreless as we go into round number three. Robertson's now going to take the down position. So I don't know. Sometimes there's a strategy here, too. You don't want to score so quick to get the one point because then they have plenty of time to get the takedown. So we'll see what happens here. He got caught uh, locking hands right off the bat. That's a, a technical uh, penalty, and he gets a free move here. So if he could get out of this, he will score his one-point penalty plus his reversal or escape. And, that, and it looks like he's going to get an escape and a technical grabbing, locking the hands. So it should be two to nothing. Two to nothing, Robertson comes up and takes the lead here with 145 and with very little scoring in this match, that may be all he needs. Yeah, we'll see. Well, again, he has a warning for stalling, so he's gonna have to wrestle or he will get dinged. A little bit, but uh, you get down to that last 20 seconds or so, now you got a one point, uh, you can kind of play that way. Then you can play that. You can give up one, but you don't want to give up one with more than a minute to go. You gotta still, you gotta still be wrestling offensively here. So right now it is Robertson and Martinez circling around. Martinez in the green. Robertson from Fife in the blue and yellow and leading two to nothing. Coming up on 110 to go here. This is for the state 106 championship, individual championship. And right now, Glenn Robertson is uh, he may not have the experience of Martinez at the King or the Tacoma Dome or at least placing last year, but right now he's in control. He's looking really good here. He's no he's not in any content to do anything right there. He better watch out. He might get dinged here for a stalling, but right now he's just content to hold there and let that clock keep clicking. At this point, do you go ahead and, uh, and, and wait and, and see if you get the stall? Uh, no, but I would act a little bit more busier than he is right now if I was him, though. Like shake him around a little bit or something. Act like you're trying to break him down. Right now, he just got dinged with the stall. We saw that coming. Now he's going to have to get a little bit more aggressive. There's 25 seconds. That's a lot of time. 25 seconds. Two to one now. With Robertson leading, red over green, and 20 seconds to go. Martinez trying to pull a trick at the last second here. Yeah, it, it is sad sometimes when the referee decides the outcome of a match, so it's nice if the both wrestlers just go at it, go at it strong. We got five seconds to go, and he's moving. He's, he's acting busy enough. He's going to end up winning this, Robertson. Congratulations. And there you have it, Glenn Robertson of Fife. The winner. And Glenn Robertson of Fife will win it two to one. That is a final. Yep, absolutely. And Glenn Robertson of Fife has gone on to take the individual 106 championship here at Matt Classic 24. Well, we're going to step away. There are five other championship matches going on around the Dome. We'll be back with weight class 113 coming up after a brief timeout. You're watching and listening to Matt Classic 24 right here on the WIAA.